Okay, so we're having a look at little monkey apps uh, place for you. Of course, one hint is to always read the teacher instructions to begin with. Um, if you're not familiar with MAB or multi-base arithmetic blocks, um, I suggest you have a read of this just so you understand what a short, long, and a flat is, or a tens, one tens and hundreds. Um, and of course, there's um, some information about where to use MAB um, teaching module and examples and some games in each of um, each of the sections. So have a little read of that first. A little link to some outside resources there just for some further reading. So uh, first of all it's called Place Value. We've got a teaching tool. I've turned off the noises here just for my sanity. Um, you might like to do the same. Okay, so we've got hundreds, tens and units and these units or hundreds, tens and ones. You can turn off the chart if um, if you are not interested in using that terminology yet. And you can of course turn off the counter. You'll see what it does. That does in a minute. So there we go. We've got a flat. You'll notice that it changes. So that's worth 100. That's worth 10 and that's worth 1. Um, so it's in base 10, which is what our mathematical system is based on. Um, so I've made 132. So I can remove that count over there. And so teachers would know that we you use these. Um, should just press that on the reset button. Um, should um, use these to teach place value. So when you get to nine units. Oh, sorry, when you get to nine units, there you go, you've run out of units, you trade your you trade your units for ten. And then obviously ten tens is one hundred. Alright, so let's have a little look at this random. So we'll turn the chart off for a moment. So random, that's this thing over here. And it's good for games. So you might say um, you might say, okay, press a random button. I want you to put seven ones up, seven units, seven minis, whichever terminology you choose to make. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Okay, choose another one. I want you to put four tens on the number place value chart. One, two, three, four. And I want you to put five hundreds. You need to make sure that he turns into a hundred. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then you can ask um, the child how much, or oh, how much, sorry, um, what's that number that you have made, and then self-checking with, um, with the counter there. Um, remembering that MAB in this instance um, is used um, as an addition to using real blocks, and of course if you're at home, sometimes you don't have access to these, um, it is not meant to replace the use of MAB um, in the classroom, it's just another tool, just a different way. So let's go back to home. So we've got three activities. That, remember that these aren't games, they're not made to, um, they're not made for you to simply send a student away to play and learn. Um, they're certainly not um, meant to replace the teacher. In fact, they're just supposed to be as a, as a conversation tool. I've turned the volume up there because this is listen and make. Um, so let's click on level one. Don't need to do that. I'm just pressing 17 to get the, the number. Of course, if you miss it, you can press this one again. So 10, 17. So it's actually asking a student to hear. So that's why there's no numbers um, present. Um, that's to answer um, students who miss miss Q on the 17 and 70. Um, then of course <laughs> terribly loud. 16. Okay, let's just press number 2, level 2. 61. Okay, so 61. Now, I'm, not, I'm just not going to press answer for a moment, just to have a little chat to you about this. You could put 61 
ones up and that would be correct or a number of tens and a few ones. Um, in this instance this game this activity doesn't allow you to do that. In the classroom you'd, all answers would be correct as long as um, they added up to be 61 um, but this this game only allows you to put up um, nine units and that can be a talking point why there are only nine units. Um, I'm just going to put 60 just so you can see too low and of course if I make it 70 um, too high so a little bit of direction there once again it's not meant to be the student doing this alone um, it's with um, with assistance okay so level three obviously brings in the hundreds. 670 okay 670 etc I think you get the idea all right how many all right this game the MAB is placed down here it needs to be put on the place value chart so you can either move Okay, so a student might count the loud one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or they might count them down there. To reach your answer, you need to press the keypad. Press OK. Super loud. So you've got your level two, and we've got level three, of course, brings in the hundreds again. Um, you don't need to put them up, as I said before. You could have a student say one, two, three, four, five. But it's, oh, you can see, obviously you can see it's a bit difficult. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. So five, eight, six. I would ask a student, okay, you've got five hundreds, eight, tens, six, ones. Can you read that whole number um, to me? Five hundred and eighty-six. Always asking what the whole number is. It's just not six ones and eight tens because in this number saying that there's eight tens is actually wrong. There's actually 58 tens because there's tens in there. How many ones are there? Well there's 586. The question if you wanted the answer to be six would be how many are there in the units place? So obviously that would be that one there, six. Um, Getting the vocabulary and the language correct assists in their understanding. All right, this one's make the number. So this time there's a digit, um, digits up there saying a number, level one, obviously is to 20, making sure that they actually stick to the whiteboard and answering. I don't want to go through that clapping again. Um, so I'll just um, Press on level two, 51. Noticing that some um, students may reverse that. They might say 15. Um, and then obviously level three, we go up into the hundred, 680. Now this time it's not saying number aloud because it's asking the student to read the number rather than listening to the number. Um, so obviously 600. And 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you're um, using this as a teaching point, um, why did you do the hundreds first? Why did you do the ten second? Um, why did you count to eight? Why did you count to six? Why didn't you count by tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Um, why didn't you count by hundreds? Um, they're all teachable moments there. And then back to the start. Um, so not forgetting that there's a link to the Little Monkey Apps website and most importantly the teacher notes. Um, there's an idea for a game there and some more challenging games and um, if you're not sure about um, how it's used in a classroom there's a little fact sheet from um, the New South Wales Department of Education in Australia. Um, there you go, so Little Monkey Apps plays value. Is that okay?